You heard a lot of time that Google Docs is the only application which if you start speaking something, it will be start writing by your voice. It means it speaks to text. So Google is the number one tool when it comes to speech to text. And people used to showcase the tutorial in a desktop version by just using the Google Docs. But the most formulated word, uh, a version of using the Google Docs is a mobile. Now you might be thinking that I'm going to show you how to write something even in Hindi by just using the application of Google Docs and Gboard. Yes, I know you are thinking the same thing. Yes, you can start writing anything. In fact, in Hindi or in any language by just using the Google Docs and also Gboard. You can see the option here, the mic. If I start speaking something, it will be captured and start writing right away. You can see the screen. It's really cool. It's really, really cool. And you can also start speaking Hindi. Jessica, you are here. This is not taking. Jessica, you are here. That this is Hindi. In the English context. context. Okay? So, if you want to write Hindi or English or any language, you can just use Google Docs and also G Drive application. Both are working. Uh, really superior and really fine with your Android. You don't have to go to the PC to do the same task. Now that's it. But sometimes you see the problem also uh, pursuing when you use a desktop like a, your microphone and also the Google Docs application on your desktop. Sometimes the mic was not working and sometimes it's not very accurate to type something. But accuracy is getting better uh, day by day. Just I mean, Google is evolving to getting you better results and Google is also a, a AI company now and is integrating a lot of AI features and when it comes to AI, AI will give you a more accurate result in later or sooner. But today, uh, you know, you, you also uh, seen the f uh, problem while using the mic of the desktop sometime on your Android with the Gboard also that sometimes your mic stopped working or, or is stuck and you have to use you, you start using your uh, fingers to start typing everything that's the problem which I can understand that's why today is the topic to make uh, today is the topic of this video to start writing by your voice not by your fingers I mean speech to text and today I installed chat GPT an application which is uh, used by a storm like in India India is a huge consumer of a chat GPT and so I am so here we go earlier I was using a web version of the chat GPT but now I switched to application I don't know how long I will be using this application but it seems very clear and clean you can see all the features here so the main uh, feature that I noticed when I opening the application for the very first time is the mic option I thought it will be the same mic just like all the um, application has like a Google integration but it's different I mean it's a chat GPT it's by OpenAI so it's uh, they made their dedicated microphone and the good thing about this microphone that you can use to write even Hindi or English by just your voice and you will not getting the errors as well so I mean there will be no not a cutoff no auto cutoff feature I mean you start speaking a lot and there will be a cutoff uh, jump cut between your voice I mean there will be problem I understand I totally understand but this one is actually recording your voice until you stopped speaking you have to stop the top stop by yourself manually and then it will it will convert your speech into the text now let me show you how here we go I'm using the chat GPT microphone as of now in my chat, GT, chat GPT application uh, it's integrated and you can see it's a recording and it's clearly written that tap to stop recording it means it's recording everything as of now in the cache mode um, until I press the stop button uh, 
and when, and when I press stop button it will be convert my speech to text and that will be going to display it here and also send to the chat and chat GPT will think that this is the prompt and chat GPT will start giving you the answer as well I know this is not I, I know this is not the right platform to for speech to text but yes it's not official it's, it's, it's by me it's something that I discovered yet J just right away and I want to showcase you real time so yes for the alternative version of Google Docs or Gboard or the text of Google Talks or my you can use this and you can keep uh, keep 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 speaking five minutes to ten minutes I mean the prompt uh, here is so long you can keep speaking I don't know how much but you can keep speaking at uh, like three to four minutes and then you can press stop and everything will be converted into text and you can copy whatever you said in the Google Docs that's a better version now let me show you it's 1.30 second and I'm going to press on the stop now it's converting to text you can see clearly here it's taking a little bit of time because okay now it's there and I don't know how much it is so I have to click on the enter you know you can see it's a lot I don't know how much uh, it goes by, by, by the accuracy but you can see clearly it has a good amount of text whatever I have spoken out and I don't know it's very clear it's accurate or not you have to use by your own and tell me the responses in the comment section now it's taking the accurate form of text speech to text or not maybe it could be wrong maybe it could be good it's I, I, I really, really didn't test it out and just you know start recording the video for you you have to test it out this is your homework by the way you can you just have to do your homework and tell me in the comment section is it really worth to give it a try or Google Docs or Gboard is still fine let me know in the comments I'm waiting for you